Right guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got this AW Polo GTI in today for a APR catback exhaust system. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mic the car up, we're gonna get you some sound clips and we'll show you the manufacturing amazingness, beautifulness, engineering of these exhaust systems. So let's get at it. Currently got the car mic'd up and we're going to hopefully be able to give you a decent soundtrack of it stock and what it's going to sound like with the APR exhaust on. So we'll do a third gear pull in both scenarios and then what we'll do is we'll let it just go through the gears naturally on the DSG gearbox try and give it the same sort of test. So we'll go from about 1500 RPM. Pull one. So now we're just gonna pop it through the gears. I think any, any modern car that's running stock OPF, GPF, um, whatever you want to call it, is, is lacking that soundtrack. Um, it, you know, it, it really muffles the, the sound of the exhaust, the, the note of the engine. Um, so, <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping, because obviously the OPS is still going to be in there. We're hoping that, you know, we would get a nice bit of change on the uh, the catback system. Uh, some of them you have to really, you know, take the reson resonators and, you know, the sound suppression out of the exhaust to make them louder in a in an OPS situation. But then if you if you do like obviously any modifications where you're removing the OPF, <laughs> then people tend to want more resonation going back in because it, it is a lot louder. Um, so yeah, let's get it on, see what she sounds like. Right guys, so we're back from uh, road test and sound test. Um, here's the exhaust all laid out. Imagine we'll get some nice videography going on and you can see all the different sections, the components before we fit them to the car. You see everything from the, um, you know, the really neat brackets that they make, um, the welding to the cast sections, you know, all in all for the money, it's, you know, a very, very high quality exhaust. Um, so, you know, I mean, in terms of like your bang for buck, you know, this is it. This is um, a very good catback system. So uh, one, one last thing left to do is get the old one off and let's get this fitted up. Right, okay, so when this car comes like out of um, the factory, Volkswagen, the exhaust is, is complete from the cat back. Um, so if you needed to replace the center silencer or you needed to replace the back box, you can buy those in individual sections. Now, what they do is the actual exhaust is marked. So you'll get three dimples that's pressed into the exhaust that sometimes are difficult to see because they rust over. But 
what you need to do is you need to find the, the dimples, throw my pen on the floor, uh, find the dimples, um, find the centre one and that's where you need to make your cut and then what that means is if the exhaust is ever going back to stock you just need to buy a factory dual clamp and put it back on you can put the exhaust back to how it was um, and exactly how it was intended that's exactly where it was intended to be cut from factory if you needed to replace the centre section or the back box <laughs> Same test again, we're going to run third gear pull and then we'll do it through the gears. So we'll start with the third gear. Same again, put it into spot, let it do its thing. Right, so as you can hear, as you can probably tell, um, from the sound clips, hopefully, and um, the exhaust much much deeper, throatier tone, um, overall better sounding. Uh, even round town driving, I, I feel like this is less droney than the stock system, believe it or not. Um, I thought that the stock system was a little bit droney driving round town, certain gears. Uh, but this, this sounds very good. Um, you know, the only way you're gonna get much better at any louder exhaust systems on this is to run them completely unresonating, which will be horrible to drive or you know you, you remove the OPF, the PPF, the GPF, whatever you like to call it, you remove that from the system but obviously you have the legalities of it then rendering the vehicle not suitable for road use. So um, for me I think bang for buck exhaust system, um, the way it is I mean, I think the quality, the premium of the exhaust system is the, and the price tag isn't terrible at all. So, um, yeah, overall, I think hopefully the sound clips do it justice. Um, and you can really see, obviously, the difference between the two. And that's pretty much what the intention of the video. So, um, I guess that's pretty much us. Um, so yeah, like, share, subscribe, and we keep trying to, you know, get these videos out and just let us know what you want to see. I guess as well, um, there's different things you want to see. Um, I don't know. I'm waffling now, I think, but yeah, bye.